we have two very good leak detectors here for refrigerant and they're both in top of the class in what they do for the refrigerant they do but here's a situation where the H10 easily picks up the leak and the Infracon does not so and this is the Stratus this is to my, my to go uh, refrigerant leak detector but so is this in certain situations this vehicle is R12 so when I come down to this rubber hose that is down here you hear that okay so that's right through the surface of the rubber hose that is down there refrigerant is seeping right through there's no oil leaks but the refrigerants just seeping right through then we have the front shaft seal right off the clutch. Here it go up, and there it goes. And there's oil accumulation around the clutch, which is no normal on the clutch shaft seal. Over the years, you do get a slight seep of refrigerant oil coming out of there, and it'll coat everything, and oil dust accumulation will build up, and that is right there. You can see it at the tip of my finger, if it would like to focus in on it down there okay now let's take the stratus so we got the stratus we have it in super sensitive mode cloud honey it should pick up anything even though it's slower it doesn't it's in the super sensitive mode and we're right there sitting right on the hose right at the leak point absolutely nothing and then let's go over to top of the clutch shaft, right at the gap where the refrigerant's coming out at it. And we got absolutely nothing. There's nothing wrong with the sleep detector. It's just not great for CFC chlorine gases. This loves chlorine containing gases. R12 and R22, this thing takes off like a rocket. Let's get into a different mode here. Now I just did the cloud hunting one, parts per million. And get right down there on top of the hose. Come on, come on, come on, right there. Okay. Zero. Now, remember the H10 went off on this one too? Right at the top of the clutch. What do we got? Zero. There's nothing wrong with this leak detector. This is an excellent leak detector for refrigerants. It's just that when it comes to refrigerants that have a chlorine model molecule, the heated diode in the H10 does have some superiority in that situation. This is really low on refrigerant. It probably only has about five or six ounces of R12 left into it. It lost most of its charge. Um, another thing, he ran it so low for so long. If you look at the sight glass, the sight glass is all dirty and gray. It got really hot, probably moisture contamination. Basically, it looks like sludgy toilet water on the inside of the glass. And that's because the customer allowed the refrigerant system to go down. It has moisture contamination, plus low refrigerant, lack of cooling, lack of oil return to the compressor. Compressor overheats, breaks down oil starts getting that little bit of scraping between the pistons and the piston walls you get micro micro fine shavings of aluminum that turn into a black aluminum oxide a gray material and you get that in the sight glass so compressor shaft a little bit of leak refrigerant hose leaking that uh, and I'll keep on going from here. I gotta check on the inside. Amazing, They might, I wonder if this was ever done. These used to be notorious for getting leaks on the condensers. Uh, it doesn't have one right now that I can find. But um, he was gonna have it. He wanted me to do it R12. I'm gonna tell him it's just a total waste of money if he wants to you take care of the leaks. But if you don't wanna take care of the leaks right now and buy the parts and then bring it back to the garage, I'll do it over to 134 so he could drive it and have cooling right now then buy the new parts make a date to come back at a later time and then he can make the decision stay r12 or stay or go to r134 if he goes to r134 
I'll tell him to get a later since he's gonna should this condenser is really oxidized it's uh it was a strong condenser it's only like 12 or not about 12 fins per inch and uh, they're black and oxidized and really dirty they're not crumbly and falling apart uh, so if he upstates this to a newer micro channel that would be great or one of the small six millimeter tube and fins like the European old, older BMWs. And um, then he'll be really good for R134. A new receiver dryer with new desiccant in it, that new compressor. And that'll be his option and he'll be good to go. So as it stands right now, this is getting converted over to 134 just to give the customer uh, cold air for the next couple weeks. Well, arrangements are made for parts to bring it back in the shop and